Hi there, crafty friends. It's Rena, and today I'm coming to share another Magnolia Tilda project. And this time I have created a mini album, and I have used the Sweet Life Papers by Melissa Francis. Um, this is a good size as far as, um, you know, how much is in this. Um, it's a six by six, but I think it's about four and a half inches um, in depth. And this is actually a cutout or a, a chipboard piece from the collection. It says, you are the object of my confection. And on both sides, I have this um, trim that I believe I got from Hobby Lobby and this lace that I believe is from Suha Fuha store. And it's the same on the back. So on the front is another one of the little chipboard pieces. Life is good, but it's even better with yummy cupcakes. And this is a brand new Tilda and she's peeking around the corner um, of the little chipboard piece. So cute couple of little flowers there and then you open it up and on the first page there's a little pocket page and I colored up this little Tilda with a she has a cake in her hand and then of course there's cakes and cupcakes here and then there's a couple of little pull out tags and this is a magnolia image uh, rubber stamp as well and I just pop that there um, this could be used as a photo mat and then the Sweet Life papers up there at the top. And then I added this rosette trim and some little uh, pink trim there from Saw Crafters. So the next page um, has got another sweet little Tilda and I used this Memories is from the Melissa Francis Sweet Life collection. Um, these are from Leabilities, these corner and dies. And then this has a magnetic closure, and this opens up like that. So it's gatefold. And then there's that cute paper, sprinkle every day with fun. So it just closes up like that. And then at the top of each page is a pullout, like this, and like that. So that just slides back in there. And then the next page has um, kind of like a half pocket right here. And what I did was I had this resin frame and I put this little image from the collection um, in there. And then I used my glossy accents and I put the um, bottle cap in there. And then I had this um, pink bow that was just gifted to me. I can't remember who gifted that to me. I'm sorry. Um, oh, wish I could think. And then I have a bunch of banners there. And then this pulls out. And it is just like a little folder for pictures. Slides right back in. And then on this page, we have this cute little Tilda, and she is jumping over a cupcake. Is that not too stinking cute? So this opens up with a magnetic closure, and there's more cute paper from the Sweet Life up there. This is from the collection, and then this opens up this way and that way. closed and then there's a little pocket on this side with two little tags so that goes in there and then there's another pull out up here and then that tucks right back away then we've got the next page has another cute little Tilda with ice cream and this little ice cream is from the collection it says you make me melt and you know this is a, a pretty bow with a button there uh, there's a doily back behind and then this opens like that 
So plenty of room for photos. Then this page, let me reposition it, is a pocket page. And of course it says the sweet life there. And then there's some ice cream in the flower cluster. There's a couple of pull-out tags from the collection. Really cute. And then this um, photo map pulls out. And I have Sprinkle Every Day with Fun at the top. And then there's the back. So that's how it looks when everything's pulled out. And then I'll tuck this back in. I should have actually made this so that it opened too, but I didn't. Oh, and I forgot, of course, there's a pull-out tag up here. Then here we've got another side pocket. It says, you're the sweetest. And there's a little ballerina here because there are little ballerinas on the pull-out. There's this notes. Slides back in right there. And then on this side is another pocket. There's another sweet little Tilda holding an ice cream. And there's a place for some journaling right here. And then another little pull-out photo mat. And then there's a pull-out up here. And then the last two pages, um, this page right here has a pocket. This is a pocket and you can pull this little card out and this says notes and you can put some little photos on the back. It says you take the cake. And then there is a pull out photo mat. Well, it's supposed to be a pull out photo mat. There we go. And then the tilde stays on that. And then you can put your pictures in there or journaling. I think I was running out of design paper. Then the last page looks like this, best day ever. And this actually flips down and this flips up. And then it looks like that. And I fussy cut out this sentiment and put it, popped it up a little bit right there. It says, hello cupcake. And then that's held by magnetic closure. Another pull out photo mat. And voila, there you go. One Sweet Life Magnolia Tilda mini album. And it, clo it you know, it it's closes pretty well. I mean, it's pretty even all the way through. Um, I don't like to add a closure to my mini albums. I think they're cumbersome and I just don't like them so I usually do not add um, a closure but I hope you liked my little Tilda um, mini album let me know I love reading your comments and even if I can't reply to all of them I'd like to let you know that I did um, read them by giving you a thumbs up so thanks again for watching um, have a happy scrappy day and we'll see you soon with another project bye